This is the third video of the Altium Concord Pro Overview Series. In this video, I'll show you how to perform a component search in the Components panel. We will have Altium Concord Pro as a platform to efficiently host all of our component libraries for Altium Designer. As you can see, this is the new Components panel introduced in Altium Designer 19. In order to achieve all available functionality, it is meant to be used with Concord Pro. I'll place this panel in the center of my working area. Once I open the panel, I'm able to see all of the components that are hosted on my Concord Pro server. I can see a well-structured component category tree representing my library structure. You have full control over these categories and are able to edit, add, or remove any category. I can always locate any particular component using this library navigation and place it on my schematic using the place button. I can also use filtering that gets open in this left hand side section. It is fairly easy to filter out components in it. For example, I can select resistors and continue specified which particular resistor I am looking for. I'm looking for a resistor with an 0805 casing and one kilo ohm of resistivity. As you can see, I get a result of two resistors suiting my original request found at the database. These detailed filtering capabilities are only available in the components panel for Concord Pro libraries, since these libraries are using standardized templates with the same parameters. If I select two components in the search results, here I can see the comparison view for them. In this particular case, you can see that there's a difference in tolerance. All differing parameter values are shown in red, while identical parameters stay white. This should ease my decision on which component fits best in this case. It also shows the approximate availability of each component. So let's say I've decided to use this component. I can see its models, its part choices, pricing, and I can also check where this component got previously used in my projects. This particular component hasn't been used in any project yet. But if I check the second component, I'll see that it had been used in the Kame MB project. This information might be essential and helpful for making placement decisions. Also, this panel has information on the component production lifecycle. It is shown with the green line indicator next to it. If it shows red on the indicator, most likely this component is obsolete, so it is not produced anymore or might be hard to find in the future. In one of the upcoming videos, I'll show you an example with such a component. I also get the pricing information from selected suppliers I have defined in the part choice section of this component. This availability and pricing information gets updated daily directly from suppliers so you always get fresh up-to-date information.